All right, so I wanted to record a quick video here about using Google Drive as your cloud backup. Uh, if you watched our other video on uh, Lightroom backup and storage, we used OneDrive and I had a client who was using Google Drive. Uh, and so I wanted to make sure to put something together so that you all can know how to use that in its place. Because there's a few other steps you have to do that because of course, Microsoft doesn't want to play nice with Google and back and forth. The other nice thing is this also works perfectly on a Mac. So it can go either way for you. All right, so for the first step for us is to go ahead and install the Drive for Desktop app. And this works on either uh, Mac or PC. What you'll do is just open up your internet browser and go in and you're going to search the word Drive for Desktop. Okay, when you do that, it's going to bring you to Google's uh, Drive download. You're going to click that. And then there's going to be Download Drive for Desktop. Uh, if you've already got a Google account, you're going to go ahead and use that to sign in. Um, if you don't, you're just going to create one. There you go. I've actually, I've gone ahead and already installed this, uh, for the purposes of this video. Uh, so I'm going to go down and open my version of it, which is down in the system tray here. Uh, if you are installing it new, uh, you're going to arrive at this splash screen. Once you get here, you're going to pick my computer where it says folders from your computer here. Um, this could be anything for you. It could say my iMac or your name or whatever. It's whatever your computer's named in its system files. Uh, but don't pick Google Drive, okay? Because that's going to be syncing things from the cloud down to you. This is what we want to sync is from you up to the cloud. So we're going to go down to add folder. And from here, I'm going to pick a local drive that's not uh, currently being synced with any other data, whether that be OneDrive or iCloud or something else. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder here. So you can see I've already got my Lightroom catalogs and Lightroom imports here. Uh, if you followed our other video on our workflows, you'll understand why those are there. But now I'm going to go ahead and make a new one. So I right clicked. Uh, if you're on a Mac, that might be control click. Uh, but if you have two button mouse, right click works. Hit new, hit folder. And I'm going to name this. Lightroom exports. Okay, and so this is going to be from for completed work, um, as you know, and we're going to aim that uh, to that there. But I've got that, and what I'm going to tell this, uh, I'm telling Google Drive is I want you to sync this folder. So this data is going to be stored both locally on my computer as well as in the cloud uh, pretty much at all times. So I'm going to hit select folder. And then here, you might be tempted to back up to Google Photos, but don't do that. That's going to create a huge amount of uh, confusion later on and difficulty for you when you're actually trying to use this. So make sure you're syncing with Google Drive. Hit Done. And there you go. Say so merge with existing folder, folder in library folder already exists in Google Drive. Um, that's because I've already done this once before to get ready for this video. You shouldn't have that dialog. Um, I'm going to hit Continue, though. And there we go. So. Now it's showing this one This one uh, folder is syncing with Google Drive on this computer. So I'm going to hit Save, and then I'm done with that. Now, OK, once you've done that, if you go down to your File Explorer or into your File Finder or into your Finder in Apple, you're going to come down to, I'm going to just close some stuff up so you don't have to see all my stuff here. Uh, you're going to come down, and you'll see Google Drive is here, OK? And that is what's on my uploaded in the cloud storage. Okay, so this is not what's currently on my computer. This is just uploaded stuff. This drive here, you'll see if I, I'm under my local disk, um, and that'll be Lightroom exports. And you see this little world symbol that's surrounding that. Uh, that's because it's being uploaded to the World Wide Web. So that's letting you know that that folder is syncing. Okay, and if I click into that, there's nothing in it, but it's ready to go. So that's good. That's syncing. And you'll see right where that is. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. I'm going to open up Lightroom. And now we're going to uh, export a photo. So assuming you followed our other workflow and you've imported, uh, you're working on something, you get done. Hey, here's a picture of my beautiful wife and our kids when they were very young uh, that I just happen to have sitting here. So I'm going to go ahead and export. So I go to export. And when I do, I want to choose some, I want to ch now point my exports to that folder. So I'm going to hit export to specific folder. Okay. And then underneath folder, I'm going to hit choose. And you're going to navigate to that folder that you just created. Okay. So Lightroom exports, it's right there. 
hit select folder. And then when I hit put in subfolder, this is my opportunity to name it because any session that you've just done, you obviously want to name uh, what you just did. So it's searchable. So I'm going to name this awesome family photo, right? And I'm going to write April 2022. That's not when this happened, but you'll see why I did that. So I'm going to put that subfolder in there. I'm then going to go ahead and export that. Okay. So now we're going to close down Lightroom and I'm going to show you where it went. All right. So we just exported that. And if I look down into my C drive, uh, right here, so I open up File Explorer, I go to my Lightroom exports. And now you'll see I've got this folder in here called Awesome Family Photo April 2022, which is whatever you named it. Uh, and any sessions that you've been exporting will all be lined up in here. If I look in there, there's the photo, right? So this is stored locally currently, but here's the cool thing. It's also uh, going to be in Google Drive. So I can open Google Drive. Uh, the easiest way for me to do that is to go to drive.google.com. Let me pull a tab over here. And you'll just have a set up a bookmark up here, or you can hit these little buttons over here if you're using Chrome and then drives right there. So you just click that, that'll open you uh, immediately into that. So here we are inside Google Drive in the cloud. Woo! Um, okay, so over here on the left, I've got my drive, okay? And you notice that was synced uh, uh, with G Drive, but I'm gonna hit my compu kit computers over here and then hit my computer. And you'll see that here in the cloud, this is the cloud version of what we just did, okay? So that's where it's being stored uh, in the cloud. It's easily findable here, okay? It's not currently in my drive. And the advantage of it being in my drive is that I can now store it in the cloud without having it stored locally on my computer. So that's what we're gonna use to back up. And we'll talk about that in just a second. All right, so now the fun part. How do we back up this information so that it's being stored in the cloud uh, after we've gone ahead and moved all this stuff off to an external hard drive so that it's not now just taking up space on our system drive so we don't run out of room and run into scratch sticks problems and all kinds of issues uh, in Lightroom and Photoshop. So Lightroom exports is over here, right? And this is currently syncing into this part of Google Drive, which is my computer, Lightroom exports, and there's uh, my awesome family photo. Uh, now, if you've been working for the last three months, uh, and you've been exporting to this, you're going to have a whole bunch of folders here, right? So because of that, we're going to want to be able to move those all into one space. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close this over here. I just wanted to show you what's happening. Currently, those are files are in here. Uh, those will be moved out of here in just a little bit. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to open this fully so you can see it. Under my drive here, I'm going to right click that. I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to name that folder Lightroom Exports April 2022 to whenever you're taking this off. Maybe it's June, right? You've been you've done this for three months now. So this folder now is going to contain everything that I've done in the last three months, my exported work. I'm going to create that. You see that folder's right there. Now I'm simply going to come over here to where I have my Lightroom exports and click that. And I'm going to select all the folders that are in here. I only got the one because I just made it for this video. But if you had a whole bunch in here, you're going to pick them all. Control A, however you want to drag that. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to hit move to. And then I'm going to back this up. I'm going to go to my drive. And I'm going to go to Lightroom exports, April 2022 to June 2022. I'm going to move that there. And you'll see that all of a sudden, under my computer and Lightroom exports, I don't have any files here. What? Where'd they go? I also, if I come into my C drive and I go to my Lightroom exports, that folder is gone. These are just the temp files because like, I have it set to show all. Those will be deleted next time I uh, start my computer. But there's nothing in here. Oh no, it's gone from my local drive. That's why we already backed this up to an external hard drive or an external SSD before we did this step. 
Although if you mess that up, don't worry about it. You just download it again and do it. It's just going to cost you some time. But when you do this, make sure you've, download, you've already moved it off to an external drive. And now you've done that. So where is it? Well, now it's in my drive, Lightroom Exports, April 20th, 2022 to June 2022. So you can always get this back on your computer if you need it. The easiest way to do that is that I showed you this earlier, but once you install this, you now have this other drive here. This is a virtual drive. And if I click on that and click on my drive, you'll see that that whole folder, Lightroom Exports, April 2022 to June 2022, is right there. So in order to get this down, I really could just click this and import this into, uh, into Lightroom, or uh, I can right click and I can go down here where it says offline access and I can hit available offline. And if I do that, it's going to bring it back into my temp files to use. Otherwise I could also just grab the folder that I want to work on and copy it back into my Lightroom imports and then add it to my current catalog. So there's lots of options there uh, for you to be able to get data back quickly and easily from the cloud to use. Uh, if you offloaded it, and maybe you shouldn't have yet because you wanted something from it. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, or if anything was unclear, or you want to uh, talk through this, uh, get a hold of us uh, directly. You can get us easily through Instagram. Uh, you can follow us on YouTube for more information. Uh, thank you very much, and we hope it helped.